Hey guys, it's Katya. I'm back with another Pretty Little Liars book review. We're doing book seven and eight today. If you want to see books one through six, they're on my book review playlist on my channel. You can catch up with us. Today we're doing book seven. It's called Heartless. Where we left off is that a fire breaks out at Spencer's house. The girls are running and Arya saves this girl and it turns out that the girl is Allison. So the girls are kind of like woozy. They wake up in the smoke and Allison is gone. Of course, they tell the police, no, Allison is alive. But then there's like headlines that say pretty little liars everywhere because no one believes them that Allison is alive. So we'll start with Spencer's storyline. So after the fire, Spencer's parents are finally doting on her. They finally care she exists again. They're like, oh my God, my poor baby almost burned in a fire, whatever. We don't care about the plagiarism of Melissa's essay anymore. But then Spencer has to admit that she lost her college fund to a pretend scammer because she now knows she's adopted. So Spencer is kind of trying to find out more about her past, like who her birth mother is. So she's going through these old files and she finds letters between her dad and Allison's mom that suggest that they had an affair. So this starts making Spencer think that maybe her own mother could be A, like maybe her mom found out about this affair and this is why like everything bad is happening to her friend. Maybe that's why she killed Allison. So Spencer's like, you know what? I'm just gonna confront my mother because she's A. So she confronts her mother, but her mom is like actually pretty shocked because she had no idea about her the father and Allison's mother's affair. She had no clue. So she's like, you know what though? I believe you because I've always suspected something between your father and Jessica De Laurentiis, but now you just proved this to me with these letters. So Spencer's like, oh, my mom's not A, but I might've just blown up my whole family. <laughs> Oops. Let's go to Hannah. In the show, it's suggested that Hannah has an eating disorder, but in the book, she has full on bulimia actively. So her parents find out and her mom actually sends her to a rehab center for bulimia. So that's where she's spending her summer. So while she's at the treatment center, Hannah meets this girl named Iris, who's like kind of the popular girl of the rehab center. <laughs> like she tells Hannah where to sit, what food to eat, like where the spa is. And while Hannah's there, she actually finds out that Allison used to go to this rehab center and that Iris was her old roommate. So she thinks she can find out a lot of information about what happened to Allison in this rehab center. Now let's go to Arya. Arya is a little witchy girl. She's into witchcraft. So she goes to this like fortune teller place things to see if they can connect with Allison through a medium, but it doesn't really work. It's a scam. But in that store, Noel Khan is there and she's like, oh, I know you're from school, hello. So they kind of start talking and hanging out because they're bonding over like the death of someone that they loved. They're both talking about this witchy woo and Noel goes, why don't we have a seance for Allison? Like maybe we can ask like who killed Allison. So they have this seance and they're like, who killed Allison? And then they hear a voice and they it says, Allie killed Allie. And they're like, what the fuck does that mean? Allison killed Allison. This makes Ari think, did Allison kill herself? Now let's go to Emily. Emily is convinced Allison is alive. The rest of the girls kind of convinced themselves that like, ooh, maybe like we were seeing things, it was smoky, like we were hallucinating. And Emily's like, I saw Allison for a fact. A is like sending her text, like, I know where you can find Allie, da da da, and like sending her on a wild goose chase. And Emily ends up like at this random farm. She meets this girl named Lucy on this farm. And Lucy has like an eerily similar story. She's like, yeah, my friend Leah disappeared the day before your friend Allison did. It was like kind of creepy. And then Emily finds out that Leah was also dating Darren Wilden at the time. So she's like, oh my God, did Darren Wilden kill her friend and Allison? Like, this is crazy. So Emily is like, convinced that Darren Wilden killed this girl's friend and then it was like wrongly identified as Allison's body or something which is kind of what happened in the show. We all convene together. The girls are talking about what they've each discovered. Right when they're in the middle of it, the cops show up and Jason has Emily, Aria, Hannah, and Spencer arrested for Allison's murder 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 so they're like all in a jail cell and they're like why are we in a jail cell why does jason think we killed her like we thought it was jason two minutes ago we're all confused but before they can even get questioned the girls are released and they're like why are we being released what is happening and they're informed that new evidence has come forward that jenna kavanaugh's 
body yes she is dead someone killed her jenna's body is found by a construction worker and that construction worker confessed to killing her and allison let me repeat that for you a random construction worker named billy ford was like i killed jenna and i killed allison and they're like oh my god this is the end like billy ford is arrested the town can finally be safe we can finally put allison to rest but then of course they get an a text and they're like this is not over this is where it gets insane book eight is called wanted and it's the craziest book i've ever read so we start with the arrest of billy ford they're like oh. Allison and Jenna's murder finally gone. Due to this news, Allison's parents call a press conference to like kind of announce it. But that's not the only thing they announce. From behind the parents, this girl steps out and it's Allison. Except it's not Allison because they introduce her as Allison's twin sister, Courtney De Laurentiis. Allison has a twin sister that no one ever knew about. Her parents explained that Courtney had spent her life in the mental health rehab, the same one Hannah goes to all these years, hiding away from the world because she was like not mentally there. But now since Allison's killer is put to bed, they finally feel safe reintroducing her into the world. So let's talk about Emily. Emily is hanging out with Courtney more and more and more. They grow closer and closer and then mm, they kiss because now Emily's a lesbian again. So after they kiss, they share a really intimate, like deep convo. Courtney actually tells Emily that she is Allison. She explains one of the flashbacks that happened in the earlier books about Allison going downstairs and coming back up in a different outfit. This is what actually happened. So the day they were planning the sleepover in Spencer's room, her mom called her out to talk to her and then Courtney came back in the room and that's why she was in different clothes. So the girls were talking to Allison, she left, and then Courtney came back in. So Courtney had stolen Allison's bracelet that said her name. So when it was time for Courtney to go back to the mental hospital, her parents sent Allison there instead because they didn't believe that she wasn't Courtney. Does this make sense? They pulled a twin switcheroo. Courtney did not want to go back to the mental hospital, so she sent Allison there instead, and no one believed her. This is why the night of the time capsule, Allison was taken back to the mental hospital, and now Courtney was living as Allison. That's why she randomly dropped all her best friends and made this new friend group with Spencer, Arya, and Emily, and Hannah. And no one could ever figure out why this friend group was put together and now Allison is saying because it wasn't me. Allison reveals that Courtney is actually the one that's dead and she makes Emily promise not to tell the others because her parents don't even believe that she's Allison. Courtney aka Allison takes Spencer and Emily out to this club with fake IDs and she tells Spencer that she is actually Allison and she actually confirms Spencer's theory that it's true that they are half sisters that they share a same mom now let's do hannah hannah's worried that Courtney's gonna come back to school swoop in and take her new popularity throne she sees that her mom sent her like tickets to new york fashion week and said take all your friends so she's like i'm gonna take all of you guys and Courtney. let's go so they get there to the new york fashion show and it's Turns out those tickets are fake and her mom did not send them. It was actually A. So Naomi, Kate, and Riley are like, you're such a loser, Hannah. Like, you're out of the group. Come on, Courtney. <laughs> but Courtney tries to cheer her up. She takes her aside and this is when she tells her that she's actually Allison. Hannah and Allison make a plan to take Kate, Naomi, and Riley down as the popular girls and like reclaim their throne. Now for Arya. So outside her window, Arya sees Melissa like running around the neighborhood really suspiciously and Arya's like, well, what is she doing? So Arya decides to follow her. She gets lost in the woods and then stumbles on Courtney at a wishing well in the middle of the woods. And here they share a heart to heart and tells Arya that she's actually Allison. So Allison leaves and Arya kind of sticks around the wishing well. She sees something buried in the ground and she digs it up. It's actually an envelope with two pictures inside. One of the pictures is the five girls, Allison, Spencer, Hannah, Emily, and Aria at their seventh grade sleepover. But now we know that in that picture, it's Courtney, not Allison. And then the second Polaroid picture is the reflection of that window and it has blonde hair. Aria deduces that, oh my God, the night Courtney was killed, there was another blonde watching them through the window. So Aria gives these pictures to all the girls and they all deduce that that 
reflection was melissa because in the books melissa is blonde so they're like melissa was watching us the night courtney was killed she must have killed courtney so now we converge all the stories together everyone has a terrible time at the school dance so allison is like you know what guys like now that we're honest again and now that we're like all friends back together i want to bring you guys to this cabin in the poconos for a sleepover like let's just go there it's like an hour drive away so they all get in the car and they're starting to drive to allison's house in the poconos and on the way there spencer actually gets a phone call from her mother and says melissa is missing have you seen her and spencer's like no but in the back of her mind she's like I fucking, she killed Courtney and now she's on the run because we figured it out. Once they get into the cabin, everything starts to get a little creepy. Like Allison locks the door and they're like, what are you doing? And she's like evil all of a sudden. And she tells her real story that after her parents sent her to the institution because they thought she was Courtney, she snuck out the night of their sleepover in the barn and killed Courtney for ruining her life. Allison was stuck for months in this rehab center and like Courtney basically took over Allison's life. So she snuck out that day. That reflection with the blonde hair was her and killed her sister. She also reveals that the fire that broke out in Spencer's backyard where Arya saved Allison from the fire, she started that fire because she wanted to kill the girls for revenge for not recognizing the switch of Courtney and Allison because if they recognized it, this whole thing would have been over way sooner. So since that failed, Allison is like, I'm gonna kill you tonight. So she lights the cabin on fire. <laughs> Allison leaves, the freaking cabin is on fire and they're locked in this room. So they're trying all the doors, it's not working. They open this one door and it's a closet and they actually find Ian's dead body and they find Melissa tied up kidnapped so they free melissa and they're like we got to get out of here so the girls like are able to escape somehow like from a window or something but they like can hear allison screaming inside the window from being burned so emily she kind of feels bad so on her way out she leaves the door open so allison has a chance of escaping she doesn't want to like lock her in the fire but she doesn't tell anyone and the girls run so the firefighters and the police come and they can't find allison anywhere so they declare her dead they think she's literally disintegrated like burned to death but they never found her body or any of the ashes in the cabin. Let's go back to Hannah's storyline. So Hannah's mom returns from Singapore and is like, why when I leave your dad ruins your whole life? Like I'm back, kicks her dad and the step family out and is like, me and you, we're gonna actually be mother and daughter. Like I'm gonna work less and I'm gonna take care of you. Also, finally, Arya's mom finds out that Xavier, her new boyfriend, was inappropriate with Arya and breaks up with him. So that creep is gone now. And for Spencer's family, um, her parents do end up getting divorced after Spencer told them about the affair. But her and Melissa do grow closer after she literally saved her life. But Emily is in the goddamn trenches she's like i literally just got over allison's death and now i have to get over her death again because i was courtney and now this is allison like what is my life so she's like heartbroken but there's a little part of her that believes that allison didn't actually die in the fire because she left the door open that was book seven and eight of pretty little liars if you want to see nine and ten then stay tuned subscribe like do whatever you need to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!